So continuing on with part two of problem two, we have um, this part here that says calculate the touch voltage on the frame of the motor should it become live under fault conditions. So I'm just going to move back onto the overhead camera. It should start up now any second. Perfect. So just to go back to the problem, you know, we have a, this idea that we have our supply transformer feeding into our circuit and the whole circuit consists of the external part of the installation, the conductor bringing our current to our load and then the circuit protective conductor in this case and that represents this part of the circuit as in the frame of the motor represented by this dashed line. So in this case, the load is our motor. But part two is really asking well, what will happen in terms of the touch voltage if the frame becomes live. Which in this, in the fault we're looking at, that's what's happening here, but the frame is becoming live. So in that scenario, we do have a fault current flowing through this circuit. And what we're essentially trying to work out here is what would the voltage drop be across the circuit protective conductor? So if somebody was to make contact with that part of the circuit, which is the frame of the motor at this point, what voltage are they going to be subjected to? So I'm just going to start that on the next page. We'll redraw the circuit as well while we're here. So again, we have our voltage source. We have the external impedance. And we were given that with 0 0.5 ohms. We have the resistance of the copper conductor. And we calculated that to be 0 0.032 ohms. And we have the resistance of the steel wire, or sorry, the steel circuit protective conductor. And we calculate that to be 0 0.0828 ohms. And at this stage, we also know that we have a current flow In the circuit. A high short circuit, which we calculated in the last part as 374.1 amps. So if we do want to get this voltage across here, the touch voltage, it's a case of using Ohm's law again. We'll call it V to voltage for touch voltage. So again, just with Ohm's law, we can work out that the touch voltage is going to be the short circuit current multiplied by the resistance of the circuit protective conductor, which is the steel in this case. So 374.1 times 0 0.0828 and that comes out at about 30.98 volts. And if you're reading the question, that's what it's looking for, 30.98 volts. And this is also below, so this is less than 50 volts, which is the permissible amount. Okay, I'm just going to give a list of that. It's part two. 